concerns for Clint Eastwood have grown after it emerged he had not been seen in public for more than 400 days, with close friends said to be worried about his health. The Academy Award winner, who turns 93 on May 31, has enjoyed an incredible life, and has maintained a healthy lifestyle after his father passed away in his 60s. And his robust health even saw the man nicknamed Samson demand people continue working despite a fire blazing on one of his sets. In 2020, Eastwood's son Scott recalled the incident on Instagram when a bush fire raged and evacuation requests for the star to leave the site he was working on were made by the authorities. The fire burned near a Warner Brothers studio lot in Burbank and was subsequently evacuated as a precaution. Scott shared a picture of the lot with his followers before going into more detail. He posted, security told us to evacuate the studio. But my 89-year-old father said, No we're good, there's work to be done. Then we went into the mixing stage and all watched his new movie. As he would say, get back to work and shut up. True story. Another to witness the chaos was composer Christopher Drake, who is responsible for scores including Justice League, Doom, Wonder Woman, and Batman. He too addressed the scenes, telling followers on Twitter he had to evac my studio at Warner Brothers for the first time ever due to smoke from the bar and fire right behind the studio. Warner Brothers is on total lockdown at the moment. Eastwood was reportedly working on the 2021 drama flick Cry Macho, which the actor also starred in and directed. More recently, an insider spoke of how concerns for Eastwood had grown after he had not been seen for more than a year. RadarOnline.com reported that someone close to the Grand Torino star said, Clint has always enjoyed great health and been vital and active despite his advancing age, but the fact that he hasn't been around as much lately has a lot of people in Hollywood worried about him. It's hard to imagine him in anything other than fine form but father time catches up to all of us. Eastwood put his health at the forefront of his mind after his father suffered a fatal heart attack at the age of 64 in 1970. The experience of this loss shaped Eastwood's life, Fritz Maynese, a longtime collaborator with the spaghetti western gunslinger, said, describing it as the only bad thing that ever happened to him in his life, in Patrick McGilligan's 2015 book Clint, The Life and Legend. Don't miss. John Wayne hated Clint Eastwood film so much, refused to work with him. Latest, Clint Eastwood on the film that saved his love of Hollywood, Insight, Clint Eastwood, How Hollywood Legend Shut Down Judy Dench on set, Analysis, the star himself also spoke of the profound impact his father's death had on him. He adopted a strict diet and detested cigarettes, a habit his chain-smoking father enjoyed. His father's death, Eastwood explained in McGilligan's book, made the star demand to be more productive, working with greater speed and efficiency on set, and adopted an even more rigorous health regimen. He said, stay away from carbohydrates, especially rich desserts. Keep a scale in your bathroom. Get proper rest. Try to be optimistic. Eat fruits and raw vegetables. Take vitamins. Skip beverages loaded with sugars. Avoid alcohol in excess. Scott too reflected on his Eastwood's health and longevity, which has seen him continue filmmaking and earning critical acclaim into his 90s. Speaking to Men's Health in 2017, Scott added, Eastwood, showed me how to lift when I was 14 or 15, the bench press and other basics. 
he made it clear it was more important to do the moves correctly than to put on more plates. Last year, Eastwood's friendship with Judi Dench was reflected upon by the British actress when she was interviewed on the podcast series Louis Theroux Interviews. On BBC Sounds, the 88-year-old hailed Eastwood as the, the most laid-back man I have ever met, describing his methodology as a director, you start at 9, you finish at 4. The pair worked together on J. Edgar, and putting on an American accent to impersonate Eastwood, she added, in your own time, that's what he'd say. Then at the end of the scene, he says, stop. Not cut. And he didn't shout it, either. Just that, in your own time. She then recalled another encounter between the two, adding, Mr. Eastwood, could we possibly do that again? Why? Sorry. Why? Well, because we've just done it once. Could we have another go? No.